This is ABC 7 News at 5. Your Suncoast News. We're here for you. Good evening, I'm Healy Wilgus. And I'm Scott Dennis. Thanks so much for joining us tonight. Our top story, it's not just holiday weekends or peak season anymore. It's nearly impossible to find parking on Siesta Key year-round. After hearing complaints from residents that nothing is being done to fix it, Sarasota County is now throwing some possible solutions on the table. ABC 7's Jess Daldrick is joining us live from Siesta Key with a look at some of those options. Jess. Good evening, Haley and Scott. I'm told that eventually another 140 to 150 parking spots will be added to Siesta Key, where the former Sarasota Sheriff's Office was. Now, that's according to the Sarasota County Commission. They say they are moving forward as time, permitting, and money allows. But even with an additional 150 spots, that won't solve the parking troubles. In the last three years, 178 new parking spots were added to Siesta Key. 143 at Siesta Beach and another 35 at Turtle Beach. However, most beachgoers you ask will say it's not nearly enough. It's a, such a beautiful place to come and visit, but it leaves a bad taste in your mouth because it's such a struggle trying to find a place to leave your car for a while. On holidays, the parking lots fill up before 9 a.m. The saving grace has been the shuttles, taking people back and forth to parking lots further from the beach. But even shuttles only do so much. I just cannot believe the sheer amount of car. It's, it's, it is just mind boggling. Sarasota County commissioners seem to agree with the public. Something needs to change. Locals seem to consent. A parking garage on the key isn't an option. If anybody wants to build um, several large, build, build big parking structures, they will witness my demise proposing that. You don't want to take away from the beauty of the area. There is the option of a parking garage off of the key, something County Commission discussed. Then a shuttle would bus visitors to the beach. I think I'd be for it. Yeah. I mean, honestly, more parking, the better. Then there's the other obvious option, drivers paying to park. I would take a very small area and make it pay. And I think over time, people will realize that the only way to get a parking space is going to be to pay something for it, and they will be willing to do so. Drivers aren't sold on that idea. Depends how much. It depends be. how much. Yeah, yeah, I guess it depends how much. Because we come here a lot, so I mean, it'd be a lot. Yeah. If it's more like not an hourly thing, but like just like you pay five dollars for the whole day. Yeah. No, that'd be nice. County Commission seem to agree that they do want to tackle this issue and move forward with trying to figure out how to solve the parking troubles. However, they did end today's meeting without any clear next steps. They did say, however, that they want the public's input before they move forward. Reporting live on Siesta Key, Jess Aldrich, ABC 7, your Suncoast News. Thank you, Jess. A Sarasota couple is charged with animal cruelty tonight after sheriff's deputies say they failed to properly care for several horses. Benjamin and Wendy Watson were charged after deputies found three of four horses at their property on Windburn Place in Sarasota were underweight. They worked with the property owners to have a veterinarian examine them and provide a feeding schedule to increase the animal's weight. But after a series of follow-up visits, deputies found the horses still did not have adequate food and water and they were still underweight. The horses are now undergoing rehabilitation. Governor Rick Scott making his way to the Sun Coast today to announce a desperately needed fix to the opioid epidemic some say is out of control. The new law will classify, classify fentanyl as a Schedule I narcotic. This means it would be a first degree felony to unlawfully possess 10 grams or more of fentanyl, a drug considered 100 times more potent than heroin. Drug dealers could also be charged with murder if a customer overdoses. Having this in effect makes it clear and makes it prima facie evidence. If a drug dealer deals fentanyl, heroin, or a derivative to somebody, we can identify who that drug dealer was who provided that derivative to that person who overdosed. We will charge them with murder. This bill will take effect on October 1st of this year. And now we're going to head over to Bob on a very sunny day, but we do maybe see some action on the radar, Bob. Yeah, interesting to know. We have some showers and storms off in the Gulf. Normally you don't see that at this time of day. You see them 
like here over the land areas and then progressing to the Gulf late at night. But there's some leftover from last night and outflow boundaries from showers that were around earlier near the coast. But this line in particular is starting to strengthen somewhat as it moves closer toward Lakewood Ranch. We've had some pretty heavy rain near Port Charlotte and Inglewood. Also right there near Northport, it kind of blew on through. And now Venice getting some moderate to heavy rainfall. Nothing like we saw yesterday in terms of the torrential rain and downpours where we saw two to three inches of rain, but still fairly heavy uh, from South Venice through Nokomis and then along I-75. Now this line in, is intensifying just to the west of Mayaka City and it is moving off to the west northwest at 10. So Lakewood Ranch will get some of this also right there at Clark and I-75 and uh, B Ridge. But look at this, uh, four different boundaries are colliding right now and coming together right at the border of Manatee and Hardy County. You can see one, two, three, four different ones. So you're going to see an explosion of storms there. Those storms will eventually progress off toward the west, so perish. Although you had heavy rainfall there yesterday, we're going to have more, it looks like, later on this evening. More in the forecast coming up in a few minutes. Back to you. All right, Bob, thank you. An update now on a fatal boating incident in the Gulf that took the lives of a Sarasota family last year. Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission releasing photos of a sunken sailboat found in the bottom of the Gulf. Last year, the Kimberly family headed south from Sarasota Bay to Fort Myers on their 29-foot sailboat, but never arrived. Coast Guard launching a massive search effort, finding a field of debris about 33 miles off the coast of Sanibel Island. Among the debris, they found the bodies of 45-year-old Ace Kimberly, his daughter Rebecca, two boys, 15-year-old Donnie and 13-year-old Roger, were never found. In total, the Coast Guard covered more than 27,000 miles searching for the family. More than $300 million worth of unclaimed property was returned to rightful owners last year. That's according to Florida's chief financial officer. The highest one-year return in the 56-year history of Florida's unclaimed property program. More than 500,000 claims were made. Typically, once a safe deposit box has been abandoned for three years, banks send the contents to a state vault in Tallahassee, where items are held for another two years before being auctioned off. That's spending money. That's to buy a, a new dryer you've been looking for or a stereo system or to make a payment that you needed to pay or buy some medicine. And, and that's, that's great for the economy of the Florida and it's a very good thing for the citizens who receive the funds. More than 13 million accounts totaling $1.5 billion remain unclaimed. It's estimated that one in five Floridians has some type of unclaimed property. Starting today, if you donate at least $5 to Manatee County's Meals on Wheels Plus program, you'll receive a Macy's Savings Pass. As part of Macy's Shop for a Cause Charity Challenge, anyone who makes a donation of $5 or more will get an exclusive electronic 25% savings pass to use from August 25th, 26th to 28th at Macy's stores. Your donation also helps Meals on Wheels the chance to win an additional $100,000 grand prize from Macy's. To make a donation and get your coupon, you can go to our website, mysuncoast.com, and click on links we mentioned. SeaWorld Orlando is now offering up-close tours of killer whales, where visitors hear stories from trainers and they're educated about the habitats of orcas. During the 45-minute killer whale up-close tour, visitors will watch husbandry demonstrations and learn the whale's health care and feeding habits. However, reservations are required for these tours. They cost $79 per person, and they are not included in the regular admission price ticket. The company has ended orca shows and stopped breeding. Orcas. ABC 7 business commentator Richard Stern joins us now. It's just another day of going absolutely nowhere on Wall Street, Richard. Scott, I hate to give away the closing numbers, but the number zero does come to mind. Uh, hardly the case this morning, though. The market opened slightly higher, and then when news came out about Donald Trump Jr. and his emails, the market fell by 129 points. Well, we gained back all of those 129 points, and you're about to see the closing figures. Well, take a look at that. The Dow Jones Industrial Average, 21,409.07, a gain of one half of one point, zero percent. No change whatsoever. 688 million shares. The NASDAQ, the big mover of the day by a whopping one quarter of one percent, up 17 points at 6,193.31. That on volume of 1,426,000,000 shares. The only down arrow, the S&P, and that's by less than one-tenth of one percent, not even two points, at 2,425.53. 
Some very positive news today out of PepsiCo. And do remember, they own, among other things, Tropicana, which is based, of course, in Bradenton, Florida. They announced earnings of their fiscal second quarter, which came in at $1.50. Wall Street consensus had been about $1.40. Both Pepsi and Coca-Cola have been struggling with the fact that sugary drinks are going out of fashion. But Pepsi, unlike Coca-Cola, has other outlets. Their Frito-Lay division showed a 7% increase in sales while the rest of the soda business was basically flat. And the reason for that, they have so-called non-guilty snacks. And apparently, those are selling very, very well. And Richard, we have some expectations for tomorrow. Haley, you're absolutely right. Actually, the next two days, Fed Chairman Janet Yellen will be speaking tomorrow before the House Banking Committee. And again on Thursday before the Senate Banking Committee, she may give us a hint about interest rates going forward. Well, watch for that. Richard, thank you so much for the update. You are very welcome. Still to come in your Suncoast News tonight, one of the deadliest military aviation accidents in recent history. More than a dozen dead after a plane carrying military transport crashes. And ABC7 Chief Meteorologist Bob Harrigan will be back with your full weather forecast. And coffee can keep you awake, but it can apparently also decrease your risk of early death. We'll explain these new studies in Health Smart. Report is brought to you by Sunset Cadillac. Thanks to my volunteer, I am a better reader. Thanks to my volunteer, math seems simple now. Thanks to my volunteer, I discovered new career goals. I'm a volunteer for Sarasota County Schools, so I know I can make a difference. And you can too. Give an hour, change a life. Now's the perfect time to work with California Closets. During our Shades of White event, save up to 20% on our beautiful white finishes for any space in your home. Contact us today for your free design consultation. Visit our showroom or online at californiaclosets.com. I dropped it on the floor, and he stepped on it. No matter how you broke your smartphone, there's only one smart way to fix it. Batteries plus bulbs. Schedule your repair at batteriesplus.com. You studied hard, went to college, and achieved your dream, but it turned into a financial nightmare. If you have federal student loans and you'd like to reduce your payments, get more time, or have your loans completely eliminated, then we have good news. With one call to Student Loan Relief Services, you can find support and guidance. We've already helped thousands of people, and we can help you too. If you have $10,000 or more in federal student loans, you can qualify for payment extensions, payment reductions, or you may qualify to have your federal student loan completely forgiven. Call Student Loan Relief Services now to find out about your options. Take control of your finances and get out from under this burden. One of our student loan experts has the answers to your questions and great solutions to ease your financial burden. We're here for you. Call Student Loan Relief Services now. Call 800-759-0203, 800-759-0203. Are you Goodwill? Yes, because when I donate or shop at Goodwill, I am creating a job. I am Goodwill, yeah, yeah. Is your old garage door stuck or broken? Would a new one give you a lift? Let Precision Door Overhead Garage Door Service of Sarasota come to the rescue with prompt and affordable repair service. Replacement doors come with an array of styles and colors, and they are rated to meet and exceed Florida standards. From estimates to installation, your satisfaction is our priority. If you're not 100% satisfied with any product, service, or installation, we will make it right, because Precision Door Service is a name you can trust. Now's the perfect time to work with California Closets. During our Shades of White event, save up to 20% on our beautiful white finishes for any space in your home. Contact us today for your free design consultation. Visit our showroom or online at californiaclosets.com. A deadly military plane crash in Mississippi claims the lives of 16 service members. Investigators are still trying to figure out exactly what happened, but so far there are few clues as to what caused yesterday's crash. ABC's Maggie Rooley has the latest on the probe. 
It's one of the deadliest military aviation accidents in recent memory. A Marine Corps cargo plane crashed into a field just north of Jackson, Mississippi on Monday, killing all 15 Marines and one Navy corpsman on board. Crackling noise. It was just something in it. It was all over, it, but it was loud. The servicemen were based at Stewart Air National Guard Base in Newburgh, New York. They were flying out of North Carolina when their flight disappeared off radar over Mississippi. Witnesses say they heard a loud boom around four in the afternoon. Then the plane began corkscrewing to the ground. We don't want nobody out there. You have fuel everywhere, so. An eyewitness describes what he thinks is ammunition from the aircraft exploding after the crash. All you hear is bow, 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 bow. Local emergency crews say wreckage was found at least five miles away, suggesting the aircraft was at a high altitude when something went wrong. The crew was on a KC-130, known as a cargo workhorse in the military, a plane with a strong safety record. Leaving investigators scrambling to figure out what could have caused such a reliable plane to drop out of the clear skies. Everything is going to be looked at, and if there's something, if there's lessons that can be learned, they will be implemented. A Marine Corps spokesperson said the plane experienced a mishap, but provided no further details. Maggie Ruley, ABC News, New York. All right, here at home, we've got uh, more after, afternoon storms, just like yeah, yesterday. The, the story is uh, not as intense as yesterday's. We had a couple of severe weather warnings right. yesterday, nothing like that today. So far, uh, it looks like it'll probably stay that way, too. And the, the, the storms are moving a little faster, so we're not getting the uh, flooding concerns that we saw yesterday either at this point. Here's what's going on with the uh, Van Ways of webcam showing uh, showers around uh, earlier today. That may have disrupted the overall pattern, so some of the energy has been used up by the previous storms that were around 1 to 2 o'clock and not as much energy for these storms to really get going like we saw yesterday. But still, there's a chance that we could see something uh, popping up here and there across the Sun Coast. We're already are looking at that right now. The rain fairly significant now across parts of the interior portions of Manatee County. Uh, this line was moving through Venice earlier and also near Inglewood, Port Charlotte, and also near Northport. That has since moved on. You're looking pretty good right now. Not a lot of heavy weather there currently because that activity has moved offshore now. But the line itself is moving off to the northwest. This is dropping to the southwest. And uh, we're looking at this rather large area of heavy rainfall into Hardy and DeSoto counties right now, all kind of progressing in our general direction. So we're going to see showers and storms scattered about through this evening. And it looks as though they'll stick around probably up until about 9 o'clock in some places. Now, Lakewood Ranch, get ready. As this is headed your way, look at this one lightning strike away from the heavy rainfall. Again, known as a bolt from the blue, sometimes lightning can strike some 10 miles away from the actual rain or actual storm. So keep that in mind, especially in advance of a storm. So if you're out here at Lakewood Ranch or even out at uh, Fruitville, in advance of the storm, if it's moving in that direction, that's a lot of times how the bolts will travel in the motion of direction of the storm. So uh, keep that in mind as you're out and about this summer. Hidden River, some very heavy rainfall there. Not as uh, intensive lightning as we saw yesterday either. Lake uh, Sarasota right around 522, Golfgate Estates 535, and estimate time for Siesta Key around 552, give or take uh, 10 or 15 minutes there. So we'll see how that plays out. The depths of the storm, or the, uh, the uh, I should say the height of the storm, is not nearly as intense as yesterday, up to about 30,000 feet in some cases. This one's a little higher. That's moving toward Lakewood Ranch up to 40,000 feet right there. Uh, th this is uh, a little bit heavier rainfall now entering into Hardy and DeSoto counties pushing to the west. Tomorrow we're going to have an advancing wave, a tropical wave headed in our direction. When that happens, the winds pick up out of the east a little bit. So that west coast sea breeze will be pinned right near the coast of Florida, right west coast of Florida. And that will allow us to see more coastal activity, I think, tomorrow as opposed to inland storms. There's the wave. It's uh, actually a remnant of what was tropical depression number four. There's not much to it, but there's enough tropical moisture with it. With, it will enhance our storms, especially on Thursday and Friday across the state. Currently, we have 87 degrees. It feels like 94 and uh, lots of sunshine, at least near the coast. A dew point 73. Winds are out of the west, northwest at 12, and the pressure 35, 305. And that's still high, and it is uh, falling ever so slightly. Right now, where it's rained, it's cooled. Inglewood, you're at 79. Venice at 81. 81 in Arcadia. 80 in Punta Gorda. 87 degrees in Sarasota. And the Gulf water temperature now at 90 degrees. So tomorrow, we're going to get a little hotter tomorrow, too. Low 90s with the heat index up there as well. And then we'll see showers and storms scattered about in the late afternoon and evening as a result of a stronger east wind tomorrow. You'll notice that the storms will be piling up 
a little bit closer to the coast as opposed to the inland storms moving in our general direction. The RPM forecast model tonight showing most of the rain out of here by 8. And then we'll look for fair skies to start the day off tomorrow. Here comes that east wind with those showers and storms moving through right around 6, 630 it looks like. That's the timing that we see right now. For boaters, winds will be out of the east to start the day off at 5 to 10 knots. Not much of a sea breeze developing. Seas running 1 to 2 feet with a light chop. And the water temperature there it is 90 degrees. And the UV index at 10. Low tide, 1010. And another low tide will be at 858 tomorrow morning. Tonight, evening storms and then partly cloudy, low of 75. Tomorrow, look for a 40% chance for storms late in the day. 90 degrees and east winds throughout much of the day. The extended forecast does call for additional tropical moisture to move in with that wave. And our rain chance is going up a little bit all the way through Tuesday at 50 to 60%. Uh, Scott. All right, thank you, Bob. Now to Suncoast Traffic Watch. The roads are looking pretty clear right now. No major crashes backing up traffic, and I-75 is uh, all green at this point, although you could have some rain uh, if you're driving on the interstate very soon. Haley? Thank you, Scott. In health news tonight, what happens when the sun hits your skin? Our skin contains molecules structured to absorb the energy of UVA and UVB photons, the two wavelengths of ultraviolet light. To release that energy, molecules undergo chemical reactions. And in the skin, that means there are biological consequences. UVA light penetrates deeper into the skin, destroying collagen and causing wrinkles, while UVB light is considered the primary source of sunburn. DNA can absorb both types of rays, and if it doesn't repair itself, that can lead to skin cancer. Broad spectrum sunscreen is your best defense. The chemical varieties work by absorbing the rays. Physical sunscreens reflect them. Coffee could help you live longer. Isn't this the best news yet? There are two new large studies to prove it. One study surveyed more than 520,000 people in 10 European countries. It is the largest study to date on coffee and mortality. It found drinking more coffee could significantly lower a person's risk of mortality. The other focused more on non-white populations, surveying more than 185,000 African Americans, Native Americans, Hawaiians, Japanese Americans, Latinos, and Caucasians, the researchers found that coffee increases longevity across various races. People who drank two to four cups a day had an 18% lower risk of death. Both studies were published in the Annals of Internal Medicine. Can't fall asleep? A nighttime shower or bath could do the trick if you time it correctly. Body temperature helps regulate our circadian rhythm. It naturally rises in the late afternoon, then begins to fall, signaling that it is time to go to sleep. According to the director of sleep medicine at Montefiore Medical Center, warming your body with a bath or a shower can help bring on sleep when there's enough time to cool off. Time it for about an hour and a half before you plan to tuck in for the night. Still to come on ABC7, an amazing rescue, how dozens of beachgoers banded together to save stranded swimmers. And a really fishy story, the envy of all fishermen, a massive fish caught in Hawaii. SRQ Performance Parts provides parts and accessories from over 300 manufacturers so you can get that new manifold, carburetor, gasket, bolt kit, or nitrous oxide system fast. We'll help you beat the competition. Call or visit SRQ Performance Parts online today for all your high-performance parts and advice. At Tidewell Hospice, we know it's never too late to say thank you to our military veterans. The Tidewell Honors Veterans Program has provided care to more than 13,000 military families since 2008. Tidewell volunteers help honor veterans through special pinning ceremonies that demonstrate our appreciation for the freedom our veterans fought to defend. If you know a veteran who can benefit from end-of-life care, call or visit Tidewell.org today. Tidewell Hospice, it's more than you think. Today, everyone is looking for more fashionable choices in flooring than ever before. And G. Freed has responded with a huge selection of carpets, tile, wood, laminate, and vinyl. Installed by a highly skilled team, G. Freed has got everything you're looking for and more. The next time you think about quality flooring, think G. Freed Flooring America. G. Freed Flooring America. Our world is at your feet. I'm Cindy Lou. I'm Susie. I'm Missy. And I'm Betty Jean. And we're the Marvelous Wonderettes. Mr. Sandman. 
Experience the best girl group songs from the 50s and 60s live on stage at the Players Center July 12th through the 23rd. Call 941-365-2494 or visit us at theplayers.org. You'll fall in love with the marvelous Wonderettes. I'm so alone. Why settle for less? Get more for your money at Sunset Subaru in Sarasota. Subaru is rated the safest and most dependable automotive brand. And all Subaru models with EyeSight are a 2017 IIHS top safety pick. Right now, you can lease the most award-winning small SUV, a new Subaru Forester, for just $209 a month. Or get 0% financing with complimentary maintenance included. Get more for your money. Go to Sunset Subaru in Sarasota. Enjoy some of the best Suncoast restaurants on me. Just go to mysuncoast.com slash dining, sign up for the newsletter if you haven't already, and you can win a $50 gift card to a restaurant in our area. We'll pick a winner each week, so go on our website and sign up now. For the last decade, SNS Motorsports of Sarasota has built custom high-performance vehicles for demanding clients worldwide. They're now bringing their 50-plus years of combined build expertise to the parts business. SRQ Performance Parts is your one-stop shop for all your performance parts and accessories. Dozens of total strangers worked together to save a group of people from drowning in the Florida Panhandle. Over the weekend, some beachgoers on Panama City Beach noticed a group of people in the water calling for help. The swimmers got pulled out by a rip current, but before help could arrive, around 80 people formed a human chain. One by one, each of them braved the choppy waters to reach the stranded swimmers. Eventually, all the swimmers were back on dry land. At least two of them had to be hospitalized. A follow-up now after a fatal plant explosion in Wisconsin last month. Demolition has begun on a corn mill that exploded June 1st in southern Wisconsin. The blast leveling most of the plant and sending 11 people to hospitals. The ATF and the FBI are among the officials investigating the explosion outside an Oklahoma Air Force recruiting office. The blast, which was reported last night, damaged the front doors of the building. Luckily, no one was in the building at the time and no one was hurt. An investigation is underway. A New Mexico man has quite the fishing tale to tell his family and friends. When fishing in the relatively shallow waters off Hawaii, he managed to hook a huge marlin. It was a shock. He saw it jump out. My father saw it jump out of the water. And, uh, and then we saw it jumping in front of the boat after it was hooked. And then we just started reeling it in. And it was just a battle from there. Fought it for about 50 minutes. And then it was a battle trying to pull it into the boat because it's so big, as you can see. So it was awesome. The owner of the boat that the lucky fisherman chartered says the fish weighed in at 606 pounds. But it was actually too big for the scale. So it may weigh even more than that. They're not used to it. Such Getting big, those, big those kind of catches yeah. now. Still to come on your Suncoast News with the big move of the Atlanta Braves heading to Northport for spring training. Officials take a closer look at how the city will be affected. How much the city is expecting to pay if the team does indeed move there. Coming up. Now's the perfect time to work with California Closets. During our Shades of White event, save up to 20% on our beautiful white finishes for any space in your home. Contact us today for your free design consultation. Visit our showroom or online at californiaclosets.com. Attention, Americans eligible for Medicare. Are you getting all the benefits you're entitled to? Did you know there may be money available to lower your medical prescription costs? Call Health Markets and we'll tell you if you qualify. Hi. I'm Dr. Martin Jitsi. It's a new Medicare year. That means more changes and more confusion. The key question is, what can you do now to ensure you get the care you need in the coming year? Call Health Markets today. You may qualify to save money on prescriptions. We'll help you find plans that may cost less, cover more, and could even lower your prescription costs to increase your savings. We help you find all the benefits you're entitled to, and we do it at no cost. Make sure you have what you need to get the care that's right for you. Find out if you qualify to receive extra help with your prescriptions. Call the number on the screen now. Representatives are standing by. 
They're coming from Tampa, Fort Myers, even Orlando. They're coming from everywhere for the Sarasota Ford Promise. Our promise means a new car you'll love. If not, return it for one you do. At Sarasota Ford, we promise live market pricing. We monitor national pricing on our entire inventory, so you get the best deal. In fact, we guarantee it. Bring us any competitor's ad, and we'll beat it by at least $1,000. That's why they're coming from everywhere to Sarasota Ford, where 41 meets 301. SarasotaFord.com. How long have we been married then? For 76 years. He was kind and generous to me before we married, and he was kind and generous to me all these years. We decided on Meals on Wheels because I was getting to the point where I couldn't do all the things that I had been able to do. We're the Spans. America, let's do lunch. Drop off a hot meal and say hello. Volunteer by donating your lunch break at americaletsdolunch.org. Tomorrow at 4 on Suncoast View. We're seeing the Suncoast all over the TV and the big screen. I'm Stephanie Roberts. On Suncoast View, we'll sit down with the Sarasota Film Commission and find out about new projects in the works for our favorite area. Have you seen all the stand-up paddle boards on the water and wondered how you do it? Well, we'll get a lesson and share some tips. Plus, a local artist teaches us jewelry making and polo grill and bar in the kitchen. Tomorrow at 4 on Suncoast View. Now's the perfect time to work with California Closets. During our Shades of White event, save up to 20% on our beautiful white finishes for any space in your home. Contact us today for your free design consultation. Visit our showroom or online at californiaclosets.com.